Time is an invaluable and finite resource. It's critical that you understand that your choices about how to spend your time will impact the results you achieve. When I tell you to quit spending your time on women, I don't want to denigrate them. Rather, I want to clear the way for you to see that sometimes a woman who plays hard to get or rejects you is actually trying to give you a blessing in disguise. How? Recall that love is only desired when it is returned. Thus, give up wasting your time on time-wasting women. Does being turned down hurt indeed? Do you feel deceived? Insufficient, perhaps less of a man, is everything about to end. No, this is only the start of something spectacular. You now require a plan of action to refocus your attention on yourself, which is what really counts. Allow me to share with you five personal success tactics that, with careful application, will make this woman wish she had not rejected you. Are you prepared to seize the day and realize your aspirations? Take out a pen and paper and make a list of your objectives, why set goals? For without them, it would be like going on a hike without a map. Even if you walk a lot, there's little chance you'll find where you're going. Now let's take out that map and begin planning your route. Step one is to put your goals in writing. Though it may seem easy, just doing this establishes and clarifies your purpose. But don't just think big. Break these dreams into smaller, manageable steps. Imagine your goal is to run a marathon. You wouldn't start with 26 miles on your first day, would you? Start small, run fast, run a mile, then two. A step is a mini victory on the way to your ultimate goal and here's a pro tip. You want to keep your goals smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This framework does not only guides you in creating effective goals but also pushes you towards achieving those goals and making them a reality. For example, instead of saying I want to be healthier, set a smart goal and it will sound something like this. I will eat three servings of vegetables every day for the next month. See the difference, it's clear, it's actionable, and it's time-specific. So, what's your goal going to be? Take a moment and write it down. Make a commitment to yourself. And remember the journey of 1,000 miles ways begins with that one single step. Next, you need to prioritize your time. See all that time you wasted trying to make her happy. Get her attention, show her that you were the man for her. You finally have all that time back, prioritize it. Every successful person you know has the same 24 hours in a day that you do. So, what's their secret? They know how to prioritize their time and focus on what truly matters. Let's break it down, start by identifying your prime time. I mean those hours where you're most alert and productive. Are you a morning person or does your energy peak in the evening? Make sure you're tailoring your schedule around these hours to tackle the most challenging tasks first. Now let's talk distractions. We all love our gadgets, right? But sometimes they can be our biggest time wasters. It's time to take control. Try turning off non-essential notifications during your prime work hours. Now let's dive into something equally essential about building healthy habits. These are the building blocks of long-term success. If you ask me, habits shape our lives. The daily routines that we establish can either drive us towards our goals or pull us away from them. So you need to make every habit count, and remember, habits also take time to form. Now consider this, what if you started your day with a purpose? Whether it's waking up early for a morning jog, spending an hour reading something that inspires you, or simply planning your day with intention with purpose. Now these aren't just tasks, they're stepping stones to a more successful use. Let's talk about journaling if it's your thing. It might seem simple, but writing down your thoughts and progress can clarify your goals and reinforce your commitment to those goals. So, for instance, you can start by jotting down three things you're grateful for every morning or evening. This small habit can significantly boost your mood and outlook, making you more resilient in the face of challenges, and let's not forget physical health. 
Integrating just 15 minutes of exercise into your day can increase your energy levels, improve your health, and enhance your focus. Remember, a healthy body supports a healthy mind and health is truly wealth. Now I challenge you. Pick one new habit to start this week. Make it simple. Make it achievable and tied to your larger goals. It could be as straightforward as drinking more water or taking a five-minute break to meditate each day. It's entirely up to you what that should be, but make sure you get one all right. Let's shift gears and talk about one of my favorite topics, learning and growth. It's the fuel that powers our journey towards success. Are you ready to level up your skills and expand your horizons? Let's dive in. So, in today's fast-paced world, the learning never stops. And the best part is, there are countless ways to acquire new knowledge. Whether you prefer reading books, listening to podcasts, or taking online courses, there's something out there for you. Take online courses if you must, for instance, platforms like Coursera, Udemy, you name it, offer courses on everything from programming to philosophy. Many of these are free. It's never been easier to access world-class education from the comfort of your home or how about podcasts. They're a fantastic way to turn your commute to work into a mini classroom. With topics ranging from science to business strategies, you can stay updated and stay inspired on the go. Why should you be wasting hours and hours in traffic when you could be using that opportunity to learn? Let's not underestimate the power of a good book. Books can open doors to new worlds and ideas. Even if you're a slow reader, a page or two each night will take you a step forward. But learning isn't just about consuming information. Remember this, it's about stepping out of your comfort zone, so try something new this month. Not only does it keep your brain sharp, but it also makes life a lot more interesting. Remember, the more you learn, the more you grow. And the more you grow, the closer you get to achieving those big dreams of yours. So, what's it going to be, really? What new thing will you learn this month? Who knows, you might be able to start a book club and the last thing I want to touch on in today's video is networking and relationships. I need you to remember that the people you surround yourself with can have a huge impact on your personal and professional growth. Trust me, start from identifying mentors or peers who inspire you, who push you to be your best. These are the people who believe in the power of possibility, the ones who see greatness in you even when you may not see it yourself, but it's not just about taking. It's also about giving back, it's about sharing. Building meaningful relationships is about mutual support and it's about growth. So ask yourself, how can I bring value to this relationship I'm trying to nurture? It's about sharing knowledge, resources, time, keep that in mind. So it's not always you taking from people and never giving back. I challenge you to reach out to someone this week. That could be someone you admire, someone you've lost touch with, an old friend, even someone new that you met who shares your passions. Make that first move, send that email, make that call, set up that meeting. And remember, every great achievement often starts with that one conversation. So don't underestimate the power of a strong network because it can take you places. Your network becomes your net worth. Cultivate your connections and watch as doors begin to open and opportunities arise. Let's wrap up this video now. Remember, your potential is limitless. Start acting today and step by step you'll turn your dreams into a reality. And guess who's going to come knocking on your door once she sees you're the man with the plan? That girl or that woman who never gave you light of day. Do not chase women, chase your dreams. This has been Counseling 101. See you in the next video.